This is Teacher Technology Podcast with Jason Sulliscar. Hello. This is a short tutorial of how to assign assignments to particular students, if not all your students. In the past, what we've done is you've had to go through this long list and you kind of had to kind of um, look through uh, what your grade level was and it was kind of a long process to kind of find those benchmark intervention pieces or or any other items that you wanted to assign. So uh, I found an easier way and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do that. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into our view sources assuming that you've already logged in uh, and we're going to pick our online teachers edition. So as it logs in here, there we go. And what we're going to do is we're going to select our grade. And you have access to all different grade levels. All you have to do is, do is assign those grade levels to you under your account. So if you want to kind of enrich your students, if you want to um, maybe go back and kind of review some of the lower, the previous grade standards just to reinforce those and build on those. And like I said, if you want to enrich and move the, uh, the students forward, you can assign them, you know, the grade higher. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to go to our teacher's edition, online teacher's edition, which is the uh, icon right here and the subtitle right here, uh, the math online TE. So we're going to click on there and it should bring up our uh, teacher's edition, which is should is the same one that we have for um, that's on our desk that that's in our hands every day. Um, so what we're going to do is we have the different units here, and I'm going to click on unit two. Say we're we're in chapter six, and so I'm going to click on unit two. And I'm going to scroll down to chapter six. And right here, right under the Chapter 6 title, is a subtitle called Chapter Planner. I'm going to click on Chapter Planner. And here is probably, hopefully, a um, page that you've recognized. This is uh, something that's in your uh, teacher's edition, the one that's in your hands. Um, but this one's a little different. If you scroll over some of these icons, you see a box around them. Um, those are links and so what you can do this is the easy part now this is the part where it's easier to assign uh, these particular activities to students so maybe uh, for lesson uh, 6.3 I know some students that didn't understand it or after test taking uh, however you set up your your system you can click on these icons so uh, those students that didn't understand this concept I can go ahead and click on intervention benchmark and I'm, I can view it to make sure that it's something that I want uh, to accomplish with these students uh, I can schedule it maybe somewhere down the line I want them to um, participate or, or do this at particular activity or I can uh, assign it so I'm gonna click on assign for right now for the sake of this screencast and so now what I can do is I can give it a name. Uh, usually I just um, assign it the name that it is. So it's benchmark intervention skill B24. And I can give instructions. Um, once I select the class, I can select my class and then any group. Um, I'm not going to select those because the uh, students names pop up I want to keep those um, from doing that but what I uh, want to stress is that when you uh, select your homeroom you also can have a group and that you can do that under your classes and students where you can manage your classes where you can put them in your intervention groups enrichment groups uh, maybe the chapter 6 group that needs uh, reteaching for chapter 6 you can manage your students in any way you want so and that's where you would select this group here after you select your homeroom you would select your subgroup, uh, whatever group you want to target for a particular activity, and then you those students will be listed here, and then you can 
um, drag them over or add them to the students in the assignment area over here. And then you can assign the dates. Maybe you only want certain dates to um, for them to have access to this material. Uh, you can go ahead and assign the date, the start date, and the end date. Uh, maybe you just want them working on it at school. You know, you, you kind of want to see where, where they really are, uh, maybe with no parent input for this particular assignment. You can just give it the times available for um, the school time. So you can do a uh, selected time from 8 a.m. to 2 p.m., whatever, whatever you decide. And also what has come up before is one of the questions, uh, how do I keep assignments from, how, how do I keep students from, uh, do an assignment before a another assignment. Um, I kind of want to do them in a particular order. Well, maybe you're doing something in the computer lab and you want to assign this intervention from 9 o'clock to 9.20 and then from 9.20 to for the rest of the computer lab they can do the, the mega math or maybe the content readers or uh, whatever activity. But you can kind of schedule it to where certain activities are only shown their things to do uh, when you want them to. So this is the end of this little short little screencast of how to make those easy assignments for your students uh, easier for you uh, through the chapter planner.